I, I had a great time. Really enjoyed it. It just, it was so much fun. Keep it going. Welcome your next comment, Lisa Cuz. I know what you're thinking. Doesn't that bitch have scrapbooking to do? <laughs> you may know me from my Craigslist ad, Cougar Seeks Cup for Spiritual LTR. I, I think I may have received photos from some of you already. Cat, not sure, because you're wearing pants. Um, they tell me, they say I'm the baby in my family. I don't know why. My brother's the one who always cries when he doesn't get his bottle. Um, I, have a, I have an older sister. Uh, she says to me, my boyfriend's getting a hip replacement. I said, awesome, when does the cool new guy arrive? <laughs> I was quite the heartbreaker as a young woman. Yeah, when guys fell for me, it broke their mother's hearts. <laughs> I'm kind of a wimp, though. Um, I am so afraid of hurting anybody's feelings that if I send a sex to the wrong person, I honor it. <laughs> family members. <laughs> no point repeating past mistakes. <laughs> I, I did a really bad thing once. I served a friend lunch on the cat's dish. Um, I felt really guilty about it. A week later, I told her what I'd done. And she said, oh, I knew all along. I forgive you. You should throw out your toothbrush. <laughs> I used to have a husband. What a guy. When they made him, they broke the condom. <laughs> One time he said to me, Honey, I want us to have a fertile love life. I said, Oh, is that why last night you soiled the bed? <laughs> His mother was Polish and stubbornly old-fashioned. She insisted on doing laundry by hand all her life, and it gave her arthritis. So one Christmas, we surprised her by getting a hot tub installed on her back deck. Well, she loved it. She called to say she, was, she just loved it. She got all her washing done and at the same time boiled 100 pierogies. <laughs> Speaking of hot tubs, my husband and I used to visit this other couple, and it was so annoying. Halfway through every visit, they would say, come on guys, let's go soak in our new hot tub. And I'd be thinking, man, can't we all just keep fucking? <laughs> people to do repairs for me. And I gotta tell you, I believe the building trades are for men. There is no way I want a female carpenter working on my house. Because they never, never take sex for payment. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't even afford a dental checkup this year. But that's okay. I'm going to head down to the border. I hear there's a guy there who does a free cavity search. <laughs> Get, getting into dating. Uh, getting back into dating, I'm, I find dating very confusing.
confusing. I don't understand why so many men want to know about my high school science partners. Yeah, it's always, uh, hey baby, did you ever experiment with girls? <laughs> You know, autocorrect will capitalize the first letter of a word if it thinks it's going to be a name. So this one time I was te testing a guy and I was trying to write, let's get together and fuck tomorrow. But I hit Sam instead of the second O, so I actually said, let's get together and fuck Tom. <laughs> out a correction, I got a text back. <laughs> Tom from the muffler shop or Tom your cousin? <laughs> <laughs> so I went home with a man and he, he picked up a <laughs> I love Fifty Shades of Grey. I said, good, that's what my pubic hair is. Cavity search. <laughs> <laughs>